business book summaries. We all seek happiness through financial security, personal growth, and meaningful relationships. Strangely, though we often know what steps to take, these pursuits evade us. Brian Tracy believes the missing piece is self-discipline, the linchpin for achieving any goal. He insists that even the luckiest and most talented falter without it, remaining in the realm of average. Before we delve further, remember that we regularly share new content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Business Book Summaries and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. Tracy's book, No Excuses. The Power of Self-Discipline beckons you to start crafting your own happiness now by implementing his refined techniques. He offers three key lessons for taking charge of your life. One, use the seven-step method to plan tasks and embrace continuous learning for high achievement. Two, understand that self-discipline is the foundation of happiness, composed of five key elements. Three, conquer fear by practicing action through the disaster report technique. Ready to shun excuses and embrace tangible results? Engage with the renowned techniques outlined by the author to start steering your life towards success. Chapter 1. Accepting Responsibility It's easy to lean on excuses more than necessary, only to realize later that we've created unnecessary chaos for ourselves. Constantly bouncing from one excuse to another doesn't truly reflect the best way to live. So, why do we lock ourselves in this cycle, and how do we break free? That's the challenge Brian Tracy set out to address. This summary aims to show you how to apply his discoveries to your own life. By the end of this book, you'll grasp the seven-step method, the significance of a disaster report in conquering fears, and why delayed gratification can liberate you. Chapter 1. Embrace Responsibility. Embrace Success. Have you ever wondered how someone else seems to effortlessly achieve more despite not having more time, money, or resources than you? Their secret isn't really a secret at all. It's about embracing responsibility. Though it might be tough to hear, their success lies in their willingness to acknowledge their responsibility. Chapter 2. Embracing Self-Discipline Whether it's your neighbor who seems to have it all together or the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, the one common trait among all successful individuals is their commitment to eliminating excuses. The beauty of self-discipline is that it's not reserved for an exclusive group of people who have everything figured out. It's within reach for everyone, allowing you to cultivate your vision of personal success, starting right now. To enhance your career success, one excellent approach is to pay attention to experts in your field. Sure. You might possess the necessary knowledge for your job, but what about continuously learning something new? What information could revolutionize your routine? Exploring professional workshops, attending conferences, or tuning into leading expert podcasts could offer tremendous insights. Brian Tracy's dentist, driven by passion, attended dental conferences fervently. It was at a conference in Hong Kong where he discovered a technique that transformed his practice in the United States upon implementing this technique. His practice flourished, attracting clients from across the nation, ultimately leading to national acclaim and early retirement by the age of 55. This kind of success could be within your reach as well. The simplicity of attending conferences and learning from others might not seem challenging, but it all begins with accepting responsibility. To learn and evolve, identifying and embracing your limitations is crucial. It's the starting point for learning from others, as well as eliminating excuses. Tracy, facing a dead-end job at 21 with little success and satisfaction, realized the toxic habit of blaming his problems on his upbringing and education. This awakening led him to redirect his thoughts. He delved into self-help books, learning about self-improvement, pouring effort into his work, and committing entirely to everything he did. By actively transforming the negatives in his life, Tracy not only reprogrammed his mindset, but also paved the way for personal success. Chapter 3. The Seven-Step Method For anyone who's grappled with keeping a New Year's resolution, let's face it, that's most of us, 
Here's a practical method that's not just for January, but for the entire year. It's called the seven step method, and it's simpler than you might think. Here's a breakdown of how it works. Step one, define precisely what you desire. When setting goals, avoid vague aspirations like lose weight or make more money. Get specific and realistic. Define a clear goal, such as shedding 50 pounds. Step two, jot down this specific goal. Step three, set a practical deadline for achieving your goal. Many resolutions falter because we underestimate the time and effort needed. Realism is key, so break long-term goals into manageable tasks. For instance, instead of aiming for the full 50 pounds at once, start with a manageable step like 15 minutes of exercise today. Step four, list everything necessary to achieve your goal, including the challenges you might face and the tools required for success. Step five, identify the most crucial tasks, prioritize them, add them to your schedule, and tackle high priority tasks first. Step six, start right away, even if it's a small step. Take at least one practical action towards your goal. Step seven, commit to doing something every day that contributes to your goal. Sometimes, seeking advice is a simple yet powerful step, as Bob Barton discovered. Attending motivational seminars, Bob aimed for success in sales. Initially, emulating senior salespeople in behavior and appearance helped, but his breakthrough came when he approached them directly. Asking for book recommendations led to a flood of advice and guidance from the senior sales staff. Embracing and actively using these resources led Bob to become the office's top salesman in no time. Chapter 3. Mastering the Disaster Report What truly scares you? Not the common fears like spiders or heights, but the deep-seated fears that hinder your progress. Are you afraid of failure? Of being average? The critical truth is that these fears don't need to paralyze you. Though these fears may seem overwhelming, they're not permanent fixtures ingrained in you. Chapter 4. Conquering Fear with the Disaster Report Our fears aren't hardwired in our brains forever. We learn to be afraid over time, but the good news is, we can unlearn these fears. Brian Tracy's approach, the Disaster Report, offers a practical way to do just that through four simple steps. Step 1. Clearly define your fear. What specifically are you afraid of? Be precise about the boundaries of your fear, whether writing it down or articulating it aloud. Step two, face the worst case scenario. Often, fear blinds us from asking what if questions. Take a moment to confront the very worst outcome and realize that it might not be as dreadful as it seems. Step three, brainstorm solutions for this worst case scenario. For instance, if your fear is about a financial loss in an investment, Think about ways to mitigate the risk or recover losses. Step four, take practical steps to prevent your worst case scenario. Actively work to ensure your fear doesn't materialize. Confronting your fears immediately is a proactive step towards overcoming them. One seminar attendee, dealing with a difficult relationship with her boss, finally took the advice and respectfully addressed her concerns. To her surprise, her boss responded positively leading to improved interactions in the future. Chapter 4. Self-discipline defines your success. Self-discipline isn't just crucial for employees. It's equally, if not more, important for self-employed individuals. Statistics show that self-employed individuals put in an average of 59 hours of work per week. So whether working for someone else or running your own business, self-discipline, consistency, and the ability to confront fears are fundamental to success. Chapter five, mastering the canine method. Maintaining a rigorous work schedule demands a method like the canine approach, continuous and never ending improvement. Here's how it operates. Initially, starting a business involves crafting a business plan, identifying the target market, pricing and marketing strategies. But remember, this plan isn't fixed. It serves well for a time, yet there comes a point when it needs adaptation. Successful businesses continuously evolve to avoid pitfalls 
faced by those like Blockbuster, which didn't adapt with changing markets. A thriving business hinges on constant improvement. As a leader, this applies to challenging and enhancing yourself continually. This principle isn't reserved for business owners alone. Every employee can benefit from owning their growth. Brian Tracy, in his experience at a property development company, advanced by consistently surpassing his own standards. By demonstrating initiative and self-discipline, he gained a reputation for excellence. His proactive approach even saved his company millions when he identified a critical error in a new property. This showcases the power of initiative and self-discipline in achieving remarkable outcomes. Chapter 5. Striving for Financial Freedom Do you work because you must or because you want to? For most, it's the former. We often dream of complete financial freedom, fantasizing about a life where every moment is dedicated to our favorite activities, not work. The idea of spending time in pursuit of joy rather than labor is undeniably appealing. Chapter 6. Embracing the ABCD Method Financial freedom might be closer than you think. It begins with delayed gratification, a concept that's become increasingly challenging in our fast-paced world. Success demands self-discipline, which, in turn, requires patience. The 1% method is a simple start set aside just 1% of your income without touching it. Even if that's $30 from a $3,000 monthly income, it's a manageable sacrifice. Gradually, increasing this to 2% can exponentially boost your savings and propel you toward financial freedom. Beyond savings, effective time management plays a vital role. The ABCDE method categorizes tasks by importance. A. Must-do tasks, top priority, the critical to dose. B. Should do tasks, important, but not as urgent as a tasks. C. Nice to do tasks. These are good, but not imperative. D. Tasks that can be delegated to others to ease your load. A. Tasks that aren't essential. Distractions that can be ignored in favor of primary goals. Chapter 6. Overcoming Excuses in Fitness Exercise and healthy eating often become excuses in our lives. Incorporating these into our routines is not just a good idea, but crucial for overall health and success. Developing healthy eating habits can start with strategies like introducing the Thinking Big Weight Loss program, a key part of Brian Tracy's No Excuses philosophy. The program revolves around cutting out the three whites from your diet, sugar, salt, and flour. Step one is about bidding farewell to sugars. This means letting go of sweet indulgences like desserts and sugary drinks and even that morning, dose in your coffee. It's a tough choice, but it's about setting clear priorities. When health is the aim, this dietary shift not only aids in shedding pounds, but also boosts energy and focus. To maximize these benefits, cutting out salt and white flour products is essential. This may seem like bidding adieu to everything that tastes delightful, but in the world of no excuses, it's all about priorities. Sacrifice is a fundamental element in any healthy dietary plan, especially if your goal is to see significant weight loss results. Chapter 7. Nurturing Personal Connections No excuses means no regrets. Eliminating procrastination and disciplining yourself to achieve your goals minimizes the instances where you look back and wish you'd done something differently. Personal relationships often become sources of regret, making them prime areas for self-improvement. Using the techniques outlined in this book, evaluate your relationships and pinpoint areas for improvement. Whether it's spending more time with family or practicing forgiveness, taking charge of these relationships involves saying no to excuses holding you back. Forgiveness is key. Learning to forgive is not just vital for happiness, but also for assuming responsibility. Blaming our parents or past experiences for current problems might seem easy, but it's crucial to understand that while we can't change the past, we're entirely responsible for our lives today. Letting go of excuses today opens the door to a path toward happiness. In conclusion, breaking free from excuses. Excuses surround us, but the easy path they offer 
won't lead to happiness or success. Embracing self-discipline and rejecting excuses paves the way to reclaiming a fulfilling and successful future. We're keen to hear your thoughts on our content. Feel free to share your opinions or recommend books in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel business book summaries and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest summaries. Thank you and have a wonderful day.